What up, guys? It's Miguel Angel. This is a continuation of, of the last video that I made about how I measure my body fat levels. So basically, in this video, I'm going to show you the calculus that I use to measure the body fat level on the three methods that I said that I use, calculators to measure it. So the first, method, first one that I mentioned was the Kaplan method. I'm going to show the calculator that I use to get the Kaplan, like I said before. Then the other method I use is waist plus weight measuring. And then the other measurement that I use is neck, waist, and weight measurement. Take a look for that. And like I said, to get your weight measurement, you should use a digital scale because it's more accurate. What up, guys? So the, um, the first calculator I'm going to use is using this measure, which basically is using the waist measurement um, plus your weight measurement. And for women, it's a little different. For the first one, I'm gonna do is for men. So this is how you do it. Please, you just um go click on the men's side and you put your weight. My weight is two twenty five point eight. I'm using last week measurement because I haven't taken measurement this week. My waist was thirty three point one percent last week. Then you click calculate. Then it gives you your body fat weight, your muscle mass, and your body fat percentage. It says I'm um, ten point eight percent. Then for women it's a little more different because for women you have to have your um, wave measurement then you have to have your wave measurement i mean your waist measurement then you have to have your hip measurement then you have to have form measurement and you have your wrist measurement make this calculation of just to give you a, a, calc um, a calculation of so I put waist 25, I put the weight at 130, put the hip at 38, and I put the form at 5, and I put the wrist 6. I, I change this to 8. So yeah, I mean I put the wrist at 7. So you click calculate, and it says that the body fat percentage is 25.8, the body fat weight is 33.54, and the muscle mass is 96.46. So, so yeah, that's how you basically use it when doing this. And then if you scroll down on the website, it'll tell you your essential fat for women, which is 10 to 30 percent, and a lot of um, body fat for women will be between 14 and 20 percent. Our fitness um body fat level for women will be between 21 to 24 percent, and the average. For um, body fat level for women will be 25 to 31 percent, and then the beast will be 32 percent and up. For men, is um essential fat is um 2.5, maybe mean two between two to five percent. For a letter will be six to 13 percent. For fitness will be 14 to 17 percent. For average will be between 18 to 24 percent, and obese will be 25 to and higher. That will be obese for men. Basically, yeah, using this. Like, the, like I said, for men is on um, weight plus measurement, waist plus measurement, um, and for women is on um, weight measurement, waist, hip, and form and, and wrist. Yeah, that's basically it. Okay, the next measurement calculator I'm gonna use is for the clapper method. There's like on um, four different ones or five different ones on the website that I use. But I'm gonna show you the one that I use, then I'll explain the rest of the other ones. So yeah, um, and plus I made a mistake in the last video. I forgot to mention that for the third method thing I said in the last video is um you use your height, your neck um measurement, your waist measurement, and your weight measurement. So you use four things: is your height, um your neck measurement, your waist measurement, and your weight measurement to get the calculation of your body fat level. So yeah, I'm gonna go to the website right now. The website that I use basically I choose to choose whether you male. Um, what kind of measure you want to use? But you want to shoot um libra, inches or kilogram or centimeters. Then you're gonna have to put your age and your weight. So yeah, I'm gonna put for chest. I think last week it was a red two on this, and I dumb your thing a red on um, twenty five. Then um tire was twenty I think. Yeah, and then I'm gonna put my age which is twenty one. Then I'm gonna put my waist twenty two twenty five point eight. And then I'm gonna just click on calculate. Hold on. Then when you scroll down, it tells you my body fat level is 13.20. According to this measurement, then my body 
the body fat that I'm carrying is 29.8 liver, and then the lean body weight that I'm carrying is 196.80. So then, then you got the other menu, which is the the Jackson. Oh, and if you want to find out how to measure this thing, you just click on the blue links, and it will show you how to measure. I'm gonna show um that later on in the video. So wait. So yeah, now I'm gonna use the tape measure, which is say, which is say the height, your neck measurement, and your abdominal measure. I already got my weight measurement put there, so I just gotta put. And this one, I made a mistake. I went to put 18.1. Um, for the neck measure, 19.6. This is pre-recorded. Um, using a screen recorder. So yeah. So yeah, using that measurement, I have to click it again. Hold up. Calculate. So yeah, using that measure, it gives you six point um fifty six percent. Um, my body fat will be fourteen point one percent, and lean body weight will be twenty ten point ninety nine percent. This is the usually the body fat level that I put on body space. But yeah, my body fat using this measure usually around eight um point fifty six, and usually it goes to nine point forty two. Like I said, I made a mistake. I missed about eighteen point one. Percent plus I, um that's my flexi neck measurement. Now I relaxed the neck measurement. So yeah, and then the other Jackson, the other method is the Jackson Pollock Seven Caliper method, which you take measurement from your chest, a down your thigh, tricep, subscolar, supra, may a celery. You need another person to do that. Then the other method will be Jackson Pollock Four Caliper method. You use your abdominal thigh, tricep, and so and so plate. Then the other one will be the parallel clapton method, where you use your chest, abdominal thigh, bicep, tricep, so couple, and so part of lower back and cough measurement. Then the last one will be the Doreen Worsley clapton method, when you use your bicep, tricep, so I use the Jackson Polo 3 club room because it's easy. You can do it by yourself. You don't know the person to do it for you. So, yeah, that's basically it. And if you don't know how to measure it, this thing, like I said before, you just click on the chest thing. It'll take you to this website. I mean, to another um part of the website, and it shows you how to do it. So, you can just click on the video, and it'll just show you how to measure your body fat using this thing. Like I said, for some of them, you need another person to do it for you. And that's basically it. So, yeah, guys, that's, that was basically the calculation. I mean, the calculators that I use to use to measure my measure using the three methods that I told you. They also sell a digital one for this one. So, I think the digital one is more accurate because when you take the measure, it's kind of harder like, to read it. Like if you get in between, but it goes by two, so that means from over here is like, hold up. So you see where the zero starts? That 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 would be two, four, six, eight, ten. Then we we'll go twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Then twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty. Then thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty, and then you already get the idea. It goes by two in the middle, the little dots. So yeah, this also comes with, uh, you don't need to use a calculator to use that. I use the calculator because it's like more easy, but this comes with this chart right here. Tell you your, your age. I don't know if you can see it clearly, but it tells you your age. And then it tells you your, your fat measuring shit. And it tells you the idea. And then it tells you what to do. And this also explains how to do it too. And if you can see it, hold up. Yeah, so that that comes with that. Oh, and plus the last one, the, the last option that I used to get my body fat level, like I said, is I use this thing. But this one always gives me um high body fat level percentage, so I don't think this is accurate. Yeah, this also has a warning on it. <laughs> so, yeah. This one also comes with a booklet. The booklet is just like an instruction manual. And it also comes with a little chart too.
So yeah, and that's the warning that it comes with too. So yeah, that's basically it. Like I said, um, I think the most accurate one is this one. The least accurate will be this one. Because I think this goes by body fat in this. I go by body fat in this, so this always giving me some high. This always gives me the highest reading out of all four methods that I use. So yeah, that's basically it. How to measure your body fat level. There's other ways using um thing as hydro, then where they put you in a tank in a tank, and then they just measure your body fat level. But that one is more expensive. The basically the other one. So yeah, um. So yeah, guys, that was basically that's how I basically calculate my my measurements. If you guys want to know the links to the website, it's gonna be in the description below. So check it out.